Yo, 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 what wow. it do? This is Jerk Radio. Our boy G couldn't make it, so you just got Wreck Radio today. It's me, Kevin, and my boy. Ronnie Wealth, but you know you can just call me Ronnie. And today we are going to be talking about two topics that we find really interesting and my boy Ronnie, his topic is... Mine's is going to be about Freddie Figures. He's the first African-American entrepreneur to develop his own 4G LTE smartphone. And for those of y'all who was wondering what it was called, it's called Figures F2 4G LTE. Again, Figures F2 4G LTE. We gonna, uh, my topic is something that I hold dear to me. It's very interesting topic. I think more men should get on it. It is FBMA. It is the Faithful Black Men Association. So we're going to get this thing kicked off with my boy, Ronnie. All right. So Freddie Figures, he is an inventor, a computer programmer, a software engineer, and he's an entrepreneur. He is also the youngest person in history to hold an FCC license. And for those of you who don't know what an FCC license is, basically it's a license that allows him to operate his own cell phone company. And this is this is actually really great for the black community because community he's the first, again, the first African-American entrepreneur to develop his own 4G LTE smartphone. As I was saying, it's a 5.7-inch GDI full lamination screen that is thin, bright, and offers stunning visual effects. Uh, it's called the F2 4G LTE. I think that's nice. Like you know, you know, we gonna have to cop that. Uh huh. You gotta support a black community, man. Nice. You know, especially nowadays, we um have a lot of things going our way. We just gotta support ourselves. If you can't support your black community, what you supporting? Like we support right. everybody else but our people. Exactly. exactly. So with this phone, again, it's a dual camera technology, 13 megapixel pixel capacity, so that users could use high quality photos. You know, like iPhone and stuff is great. Samsung is great, but I think we should all switch to this phone, mainly because we supporting our black people. And we also, like, the phone's really nice. It's a nice, it has nice camera quality. It has a nice um, memory storage. And it's only 15 a month when it does come out. 4G, 4G data, and it's 60 a month for the data. But, again, we're supporting our people. Yeah, I mean, I mean, as far as uh, African-American entrepreneurs go, man, that's, like, that's a, that's really, like, a big step for us. You don't see too many African American entrepreneurs out here in the world uh, just doing doing their thing with the computers and the technology and they own running their own businesses and having their own companies like this man he is doing this thing like right real. like and then he's you know he's from Florida he grew up you know at the age 12 he landed his first job at a community computer technician working in uh, Quincy Florida again at age 15 he started his own computing services company. So, you know, since he was young, he was been trying to build software and, you know, make the comp make what he's trying to do better. And now that he's old enough and got the degree for it, he's really going to start innovating phones. At, at least I believe he's going to start innovating phones. And this is just, again, another stepping stone. Like, bl us black people, we don't have too many things for ourselves. Like, this phone is going to be our first step. Next, you know, it could be hotels, airports. Ooh. We already got restaurants, but we can have our own fast food restaurant. Right. Popeye's right. ain't, you know, I mean, it's all good and stuff, but it ain't black owned. Right. It, it's just, you know, black um, push this push this for like, black people. Like black culture. And yeah, yeah, exactly. Like fried chicken and uh, cause I, I do, do love, love me some, some fried, fried chicken. chicken. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, but yeah, honestly, like, 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 if I could get my own business, I I definitely do something like what he's doing. Me with my music, like, if I could start like my own recording label, recording company, I would. But as for right now, I'm just. Getting my education in this music, man. Exactly, and that's what it's all about, getting your education so you can get your degree so you can, you know, get your own business, and we can support you, you know, like, it, it, it's not enough just being the CEO of the company. Right. It's You got to own it. You got It's got to be yours, right. you know, because... 
promote that. Promote yourself. Exactly. Like, get yourself out there. And this is what he's been doing. He's the inspiration for any black person who wants to start their own company and have it successful. Because, like I said, he's went through things himself. He, I'm pretty sure he had his hardships and stuff. But he still was able to get through college and, you know, be able to start his own company. Like, that's amazing, you know. Right. The, the only thing about it is going to be that switch. That switch <laughs> you know, we love our iPhones. Can't get enough of them. Cameras. Just the, just the whole, all nice, and then I got a Galaxy, so like I can't. I mean, I'm gonna have to part ways with it, but like the Galaxy is hitting. Galaxy iPhone, they are hitting. Like they the one of the best phones out right now. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, iPhone, they I don't know what they even do. So we look. More, so yeah, <laughs> feel like they just making the same thing, taking taking buttons off. Next thing you know, volume gonna be nothing but touch. Swipe up to turn <laughs> up the volume. Swipe down, turn it down. Just. Everything just you're gonna have to pay for all uh, volume button watch. <laughs> right, you're gonna be you're gonna be uh, uh the volume button comes on the side. You have to pay an extra two hundred thousand dollars. I swear. Exactly. They're gonna be like, oh wait, the com- the camera doesn't actually come with the phone anymore. You have to pay extra five hundred dollars just to take pictures. Well, like, it's it's just it's just crazy, but like shout out to that man. Shout out to shout Freddy out Figures. Freddy Figures again. What, what, His phone that? was called the four two four G LTE. And when it comes out, we got to get behind them. Facts. Got to get behind them. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not. But y'all, y'all could do that. <laughs> I, I do support. I do support them. But I, I do love my iPhones, though. But, yeah. But switching topics to go to uh, Faithful Black Men Association, represent. Mm-hmm. Y'all, like, like, black men. Black men. Black young men. Black old men. Black middle age Black men, everything. Black men. <laughs> Men in general, not even just black men, like all men, everybody really. Faithful Black Men Association. Most people, I feel like, well, the whole statement, the purpose behind Faithful Black Men Association, it's not necessarily being like just faithful to your girl because that's what most people associate it with. Right. But it's more being faithful to ideals and sticking with that faithfulness. Hmm. Because, but, you know, you have these people out here like, oh, it's just associated with you got to be faithful to your girl but it's really like like how you got to be faithful to your religion you got to be faithful to like your family of so course basically, friends all like, of that in yeah. a sense it's just a promoting constant like uh continuancy you can't just start some and be like oh you know what don't want it don't want it it's like you got to be basically faithful to how you view things you can't just like not just you like say oh okay like i'm gonna give you an example like oh i'm christian but like i don't go to church or anything you know you got to be faithful in your religion you got to practice it in order to like be faithful so just saying you're christian isn't enough you got to actually you know go to church that's what i'm getting right I yeah guess. but but don't think of it as going to church as <laughs> going, to, going to a building so but like just being faithful to like faithful to your religion to your, your god practice. and all of that so like 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 me, I, I don't go to church because I'm not physically able to, but I do listen to my gospel music on Sundays. Always listen to my gospel music on Always. Sundays. My Kirk Franklin, my Fred oh, yeah. Hammond, Marvin Sapp, Brian Courtney Wilson, all of that. It's just the music behind it is just so beautiful. But yeah, with Faithful Black Men Association, when I first heard about it, it was my older brother who actually showed me because I looked mm. on, I looked on the, my uh, my computer desk and I see this envelope. And he shows it to me. It says Faithful Black Men Association. And I'm just like, huh, I'm a faithful black man. I'm, I'm very faithful to my ideals and my and my ladies that I do get that that I do get. But uh, yeah, <laughs> that the, you do get. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, one, because faithful. Yeah, exactly. But but yeah, he opened the envelope. He showed me and I'm, I'm looking at it and I wish I would have actually brought it with me today so hurt i didn't bring it today i wasn't even thinking this morning i was just got this fresh fit and just had to throw it on you know but yeah he opened the envelope to me he shows me his card as his uh his member number on it because they take members you do pay for it but in my opinion it's all worth it just showing just showing the world that you you're a faithful man and you supporting this this man who is also a black entrepreneur just like freddie figures he started this and it's actually really coming up in like just the world and in social media because I found it, my brother found it on Twitter 
and he showed it to me. He sent me the link, and they cards, like they Faithful Black Men Association cards, they FBMA products just sell out just like that, just That's great. by a snap of the fingers. And it's really crazy because this black man, he started it. I wish I knew his name. I tried to do research, but I could not find this man's name. So what, what's basically the cause? Like, what do y'all do besides, like, okay, I understand y'all be faithful, like, but how do y'all... How do y'all show y'all mission? Like, do y'all go fundraising? Do y'all do? Oh, type? oh yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. I can elaborate on that. Yeah, like recently, recently actually, I was on social media and I was looking. I was on their page because I tried to go get me a card, even though, but it was sold out. Like they sell out every <laughs> month, just too fast, and I could never get my card or my shirt with my patch on it. But recently, they had. They had this uh, fun, not even a fundraiser. It was a fundraiser and it was a barbecue. I think they did it in mm. Atlanta, and I wish I was in Atlanta at the time because it just looked so fun. Like it was, I, I it bet was, you that barbecue, the ribs was right. smacking, right. man. Oh my god, like For real, just, just, oh my god, and it was crazy. Uh, what they said, it was the tweet. The tweet said that it was like something like, um, uh, come out. Uh, get your food, socialize, and meet other kings. Because uh, also, like, something that me and my brother started doing because of the Faithful Black Men Association, we started, instead of just, like, walking around, you'd be like, you say what's up to your friends, you'd be like, what's up, king? Because, you know, back in the days, like, well, 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 even now, like, any time period, black, African-American men and women are viewed as gods, goddesses, kings, and queens. So, when I do talk to my, my African American brothers, you know, mm. I'll be like, I'll be like, "What up, King? What's up, King? Uh, Have I a good day, you. King." All like, of that. Oh, "How you doing, Queen? Yeah, you know, exactly. Right, you right. gotta empower your people. Right, you got to. Mm. Just anything to put a smile on their face, really. But like, but like, I would like you. You should consider like getting on it. Like, I'll show you the Twitter link and everything. Like, all of y'all should all get right, on yeah, it. Honestly, sounds nice. Like, um. So besides the uh, faithful black men, the king, um, what they do and stuff, do they do anything like? Okay, so I understand they sell, they sell in, um merchandise. Yeah, promoting, promoting. They promote. Mm -hmm. What do they do back to the community? Back to the community. Oh, yeah. they, oh, they give back. Like they give the uh, the man. He gives to charities and stuff. And there's a, uh, I'm trying to remember it because it's a it's a lot of stuff that they actually do, and. Like I'm, I'm scrolling on Twitter and stuff, and I see these videos. There's just like, the the videos are funny, but because <laughs> there's like there's this girl, there's this girl, and there's th there's this man, faithful black man. He's just he's just kind of minding his own business. He's not really in a club. He's just kind of out. And there's this girl. She tries to like dance on him or something because they're at like a social gathering. She tries right. to dance on him, and he's just kind of like like scooting away with his drink in his hand. Like I rebuke thee. And, oh, I got <laughs> beauty, like, like get saying, away from you know, me. like, like no, I'm we, faithful. Exactly, I got you. And they they just have the straightest face, and I think it's so funny. But also, I think that like that's really good. Like more more of these men, they they like they uh being faithful to their communities. They giving back and all of that. They they like uh philanthropists. Ah. Like, I, I'm pretty sure like the the uh, CEO of the Faithful Black Men Association is a philanthropist, giving back to charities and stuff. And oh, uh, so it's not, it's just, okay, so it's not, an, it's actually an idea being put to work. Yeah. So it's like saying, okay, we faithful, and we're going to show you how we faithful. We stick to our women, we stick to our faith, we stick to our beliefs, and then we're going to take it a step further and promote our faithfulness across the community right. by doing giving to charity and organizing funds and um, stuff like that, right? Right, yeah. And, mm -hmm. like, they, they, um... Like uh, you know, Charlemagne the guy, he is also a part right. of it, and he was the one. He had the uh, Faithful Black Men Association crest because they have the crest. It was on the inside of his Hennessy bottle, like it was embroidered on his Hennessy bottle, and I thought that was just that was amazing. That's dope, right there. Because he's honestly. and he he was um I actually heard him one time on the radio. He was he was actually promoting Faithful Black Men Association also. Mm -hmm. And, like, and honestly, they need it. They should start promoting more honestly because, like, before today, I probably would have never have known what a faithful black men association was. I don't really see it as much. And so, like, for you to promote this, this actually is really good because, like, more people, not just me, 
but those who are listening out there on our podcast could hear about it. Right, and like like you could follow like you could follow their Twitter at official FBMA. That's at official FBMA, and I really think like the cause, like what they're really doing for society, to to help all of these like broken hearted women, all of these failed um failed opportunities that these people have given up on just because they weren't being faithful to like that opportunity that was given to them or that they had and didn't even know like hmm. they was just giving it up just giving up on it and that was really crazy but i really I, I love what they're doing for the community and just promoting all right so we're gonna switch gears and we're gonna talk about it's gonna be this segment is called ronnie rant so i basically in this in this segment i talk about things that kind of you know that i feel like should be changed in the world and so today we're going to talk about adoption and how it costs a lot of money honestly and it costs actually more than abortion and i feel like this should change because abortion is i mean i understand you have your right to whatever you do you have the right to your body but also in think about adopt to um when you put in oh well let me get my kid up to adoption it's a highly unlikely chance because one is from it's between five thousand to four thousand dollars to adopt a child and you're like well my baby might not have a you know chance at life or a chance to find a family if i give it up to adoption and that no one no one gets them like honestly, only rich people right now are able to adopt a kid because four thousand dollars is a lot, and then you have to take care of that child. So like a lot of people kind of deter away from adopting a child, and I think this is not this is not good at all, honestly. Because how are you supposed to give a kid a better future to uh, trying to put them up for adoption when even if you do put them up for adoption, ado- you don't. You know, at like I was saying, even though you put them up for adoption, the money to actually get your child for your child to actually be adopted is ha- makes it a lesser chance for your child to get adopted. Especially since abortion is way cheaper, like way cheaper, honestly. I th- I just think like like with that, you gotta remember like even putting these kids up for adoption, you have some of them that's like bouncing from foster care to foster care getting raised on different beliefs and different ideals and that's just like messing with their head so they go into society either depressed or just not even knowing what to do with their life and that's when they turn to like drugs and all of these bad influences exactly. and stuff like that exactly because kids need constant they don't they need stability and you can't get st- stability at a foster home i'm sorry there's no um stability in a foster home and so the longer they stay in that foster home, that's the longer, that's the more chance of them not being able to, you know, develop properly. And uh, they're like, okay, so like in this foster home, these people were kind to me, but at this foster home, they were mean to me. So like, I don't know how to view people now. And it's crazy because like I said, I was telling you $4,000 to adopt a child. Abortion is only $350 in Louisiana that I know of. And that's, a lot uh, that's a big difference that's a big gap the lowest to buy a child to adopt a child is five thousand the highest to abort a kid is 950 and that's outrageous honestly so do you feel that it should be so do you feel that it should be something like life for a life like they should cost around the same exactly that way you have an actual choice and you have an actual okay well i mean a thousand dollars Let's say we're going to cut it between close enough, like $1,000 to abort and $1,000 to adopt. A person's going to more likely adopt. And there's families out there that can't have kids. And so adopting a child is something that they want to do. But some of them don't have the money for it because, like I said, $4,000. That's a lot of money. $5,000 minimum. So if you make it to 1000 they can go, those people who want kids and actually, like, really want and want to take care of them, They'll buy those kids, um, adopt those kids. And those who want to terminate their kid, well, as I said, it's your body. They can terminate it for $1,000. And so, yeah, like, honestly, I, um, I feel 
that it should be put into just put into the air. This is Ronnie Rant segment. Um, anything you have to say for it? I mean, I'm just saying, like about the with the adoption, it's really just like I understand that it costs so much money, and I'm gonna make this real quick. I understand that it costs money, but you got to think about like someone's giving you a life that you need to take care of, and I'm gonna just I'm gonna just end it on that. Like y'all just be y'all just be good to these people out here, y'all. Tell somebody that y'all love them, you know. Just or just somebody. tell them hi. You you look yeah. good today. You yeah. had you look beautiful, queen. Exactly. You or look good. My I king see you look good. my king. <laughs> you looking, you're looking you fresh know. today. I, I I feel you with the wave, my dude. I feel um, you. Just just empower somebody. You know, you never know what people go through. And on this segment, as much as we talk about the stuff we talk about in our segments, we also try and promote peacefulness and equality in our right. channel. Big fan. We try and you gotta love yourself and you gotta love your community. So I hope y'all have a good one. This is Jerk Radio. Right. Shout out to my dude G. He couldn't make it. This has been Jerk Radio. Well, Rec Radio. (laughs) My boy Ronnie and me, Kevin. We out. We out.